Welcome to Kinetic Molecular Theory. The Kinetic Molecular Theory essentially means theory of moving molecules, and it's a theory we can use to predict and explain the behavior of gases. So let's take a look at what the Kinetic Molecular Theory states. These postulates are the basis of the Kinetic Molecular Theory. The first one says that a gas is made of tiny particles in constant random straight line motion. The second one says that gas particles have a negligible volume, approximately zero, in relation to the volume of their container. This statement is essentially saying that gas particles are so small compared to their container that they have practically no volume. The third postulate is that particles collide with each other in the walls of their container without losing any energy, perfectly elastic collisions. The last part of this tells us that there are no intermolecular attractions between gas molecules. Now each of these postulates we know are not actually true, but they make assumptions about gases that do allow us to make meaningful predictions and explain behaviors that are actually witnessed. So what kinds of things does a kinetic molecular theory tell us about gases? Well first of all, gases are compressible. The reason gases are compressible is that there's so much space between the molecules of a gas and they occupy so little volume that if you apply any pressure to a gas you can essentially push the molecules closer to each other and force the gas to take up less volume. So you can compress a gas. It also tells us that the pressure exerted by a gas depends on the number of molecules in that gas. If you increase the number of molecules in a space, you're going to get more collisions and therefore more pressure. It's kind of like thinking about a crowded room. If you fill a room with too many people, there's going to be collisions between those people. The last thing that kinetic molecular theory tells us is that gases behave similar to one another regardless of their identity. In general, kinetic molecular theory can be used to explain the relationship between pressure, volume, temperature, and the number of moles or the number of molecules of a gas. And these relationships are going to be expressed mathematically in the next few lessons, but we're going to look at how kinetic molecular theory can explain them as well. That wraps up our lesson on kinetic molecular theory. In the next few lessons, we're going to see some gas laws that were established about the way gases behave and we're going to be able to use a kinetic molecular theory to evaluate why gases behave the way they do.